this is too much. This is not what I saw. You can tell I'm no prophet. I saw like 10 or 15 people. All right, well, let's do what we can here. All right, just open your hearts to the Lord. Amen. You can tell the Lord that if you want. Just say, Lord, I thirst. Jesus said, if any man come to me and drink of me, he'll never thirst again. I'll fill him up with living water. So come, Lord. Bring your living water. That's it. Let it come. Let it come. Now, I bless you. I bless those of you here tonight that have been full of shame full of this kind of plaguing little thought in the back of your mind that there's something fundamentally wrong with you, that you'd never be caught up in this stream. So you had like a fear that you would just be on the side and, and you would never really get to see revival. I pray in the name of Jesus and his, as His ambassador, by His authority, I break the power of that shame over you. Especially some of the ladies who have just thought that this would pass you by. That somehow the, the women couldn't be used like this. Let it come. Let that same spirit that gripped old Agnes Osmond, let it come on you. The spirit of the Lord, let it come. Amen. Let it come. Let, let that Pentecostal power just begin to grip you ladies. Let it come. Amen. Touch them, Lord. The Lord, let it come. Let the power of God come. The spirit of the Lord bless you. You're not going to be passed by. That's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to just some of you ladies right now. That this is not going to pass you by. There's not something wrong with you for being a woman, for goodness sakes. Let it come. Come on, let the power of God come. More, Lord. Amen. Amen, let it come. Yes, Lord, we drink of your Spirit. Come on. For some of you, that little cup illustration was meaningful. Come on, just turn your life over. Give, whoa, give the Lord permission to fill you up. into God's army tonight. The Lord conscript you into His army. Let it come. Amen. Lord, we ask for Pentecostal power. Lord, we gladly put ourselves in that great of Pentecost. We ask it to come. Amen. Let it come. The Spirit of the Lord will touch you. The Lord just putting you in His army. This is normal Christianity. <laughs> Amen. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let it come. Let it come, Lord. That's right, some of you right now, the Lord's just helping you step over the edge. Amen. Now, Lord, I pray for those who have been discouraged. Lord, I pray for those with shattered dreams. Lord, I ask you to come and and as Paul said to the Romans, give hope by the Holy Spirit. 
Let the Holy Spirit release hope on this room right now. Hope in your heart. Hope to see this day come. Let it come. Okay, now when you can, when you can, try to give words to that. When you, just when you can, when you can get a grip, try to give words to it. Amen. We drink of your spirit, Lord. Now fill them with hope, Lord. Fill them with confidence.